Hi everybody, this is FT Raw with a new video tutorial. I have a 3D model of an old Russian battle tank in 3DS format, which I import now. I set the scale to 100 so that the dimensions match the reality. We don't need light and camera. The model must now be centered and aligned in the direction of the positive z-axis. Resetting the object axis. To get the tank driven by drive, we have to isolate the wheels first. As you can see, there are some wheels that are identical. And since we will create a construction for the ground rollers that move the suspension also, we can delete all rollers except for one. But first I make a copy so that I have a reference model for the further editing steps. So now we delete these duplicate ground rollers. Let's take a look at the tracks. We only need one chain link for each side. So I take one of these links out of here. Now we can delete the rest of the track. The same thing we do on the other side. Also, these supporting rollers are identical, so that we can delete all objects except for one. Thus, we have to edit only one wheel and can then copy it. The whole thing now on the left hand side. Next, we must isolate the wheels. Here is a drive wheel. As is often the case with important models, the origin is not lying in the center. We have to center the axis so that the wheel can rotate later. Let's call the object drive right and shift it upward so that we keep track of the already edited objects. The same now on the left. Next we go to the front guide rollers. Again, the axis of the objects have to be centered.
So here's a slightly more difficult task. I've just mentioned that we also want the suspension of the ground wheels be movable. The ground wheels are the wheels that are directly controlled by drive, including the vertical movements according to the suspension. So let's first center the wheel objects. Since we'll have multiple copies of this ground roller, I keep this group and call it ground wheels right. As you can see here, the suspension of this tank is designed with torsion bars. To get this linkage rotating realistically with the vertical movements of the wheels, we need to isolate the suspension objects. Unfortunately, it's a single object, so we have to split the corresponding polygons. So, I've separated the suspension to individual objects. The axis can be assigned to the wheel. I have positioned the object axis of the suspension arm at the pivot point and oriented in a way that the z-axis is pointing towards the wheel objects. Provided with a target tag, it will always point towards the wheel and rotate according to the up and downward movements of the wheel. So we assign a target tag and define the wheel at the target object. We now group this construction because we want to copy it several times. Let's just test the mechanical system. The arm moves with the wheel. We switch on the reference model so that we can now position the copies. So that are our ground rollers. Certainly the same has to be done on the left hand side. Now we come to the supporting rollers. These have to be copied in position 2. The supporting rollers are fixed to the chassis so we don't need any special construction. Except for the tracks now, everything is ready for the simulation. Of course, the whole thing has to be done on the left. <laughs> 